how could a philosopher possibly contribute to a discussion of our human futures? The German philosopher Hegel many years ago said that philosophy always comes too late. Philosophers reflect on the present conditions and its preconditions, and when then they have finished their considerations and reflections, the wheel of history has turned, and, it, and they are too late. Martha Nussbaum, a renowned American philosopher, has for more than 30 years, in numerous books and articles and public performances, tried to never to be too late, always just in time or often ahead of time. I'll mention three areas where she has contributed considerably, not only to a philosophical understanding, but to a more general public discussion about the role of philosophy in changing society. Together with the later Nobel laureate in economics, Amartya Sen, she developed a new framework for analyzing and promoting human well-being and welfare. She has written extensively about the importance of literature, of the humanities, of the liberal arts, not only for a small fraction of students at the humanities, but for all students, for all kinds of education in a modern liberal society. Her latest and most recent book has the title The Monarchy of Fear, and it has the subtitle A, Philo a Philosopher Looks at the Political Crisis. What crisis? The crisis which arose after the election of Trump in the United States, Brexit and so on and so forth. And it's an analytical book in many ways because Nussbaum analyzes basic emotions involved in these political issues and controversies. Fear, anger, hatred. But it's not just an analysis. It's an attempt to come up with some proposals for how to change our institutions and our social organization in such a way that those who are marginalized at the border can be involved in a fruitful and, and a, a meaningful way in our social life and our social fabric. Nussbaum is a great lecturer, but she is also great in discussions. Her latest book has provoked some discussion, of course. Many have praised it highly, some are more critical, and I'm sure she loves that because she wants discussion. And when she comes to, Den to Denmark and to Aarhus, we'll have the chance to discuss with her, and I think we can all look forward to that. Mm -hmm.